So far you have seen how to create a started service using an intent service and then upon completion of service how you can display a message to the user that service completed successfully. Now a better way to do this can be using a notification message like for example once the file upload completes or download completes then the user gets notified uh, even if the user closes the app uh, like you must have experienced in a lot of apps so you get notifications now how do you implement a notification in Android so the the good thing is it's pretty it's pretty easy Android provides a set of services like notification service alarm service location service and using these services you can easily implement the functionality let me show you how you can implement the notification so you are familiar with this sample service class which implements I mean extends intent service now to create a notification once the service is completed um, <clears throat> you need to add a method and add a method or add a, a sequence of code I'll show you how and just call this method once the service is completed so earlier we were calling the handler right you can replace this with this method and this will invoke a notification whenever the service gets completed so creating a notification is a series of steps <clears throat> it's not complex first first step is create an intent and this intent the intent you specify here specifies which class or which activity the notification click will take will take will take the will take the user activity here and when the user gets a notification and clicks on the notification then the user will be taken to that activity okay then you define a task stack builder and this task stack builder handles the stacks for you you know the button the back button click and all so that is handled and if you see it takes you know it it takes the name of the parent stack uh, which is the main activity class for us and then you specify task stack builder dot add next intent and you specify this intent okay which is our the intent where we want the user to go and using this task stack builder object you get a pending intent now what is a pending intent a pending intent is an intent for future so when your app needs to be uh, you know when your app needs to be opened from another app or service then you use a pending intent which is an intent which is pending basically and which will be executed at a later time so to create a pending intent you have this object and then you get a pending intent and you have a couple of parameters the second parameter specifies uh, what will happen if another pending intent exists with the same uh, you know a similar pending intent exists so in that case this update means it will be updated so this will replace the existing pending intent then you create a notification object and notification object is the main thing which lets you configure the properties of the notification like for example the icon the title the text that will be displayed uh, you know there are a set of other parameters also you can specify a lot more parameters just refer to the android documentation and then you specify the pending intent which we have created here okay and once you have the notification object ready then you use a notification manager which is which lets you use the notification service so you get the system to get any service you use a get system service method in android and you specify the service name which is notification service and you simply call the notify method on this you specify the notification ID which is any ID you can give a like this is a random number I've chosen so that it identifies your notification uniquely and then you specify the notification object so using this series of steps uh, three four steps you can easily create a notification and notify the user once the service is completed or for any other task you need okay so I hope uh, this clarifies the notification service a little bit for you. Uh, go ahead and you know refer to the code, go through the steps, read the documentation so you get more clarity 
and then try to implement it okay thanks bye